Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. And I'm sure you guys already know what I'm going to be ending up talking about on this video, and just how much of a massive disappointment this most recent Amazon restock literally was. So it just wasn't fun, it wasn't good, and what else is new? It just kind of seems like just everything was just awful when it comes to the stock almost instantly being sold out everything else like delays and just issues and dogs and everything and just i don't think i saw basically more than like maybe even one person get a console and this is like an entirety of amazon and it's just not a fun time so we have a few things to go talk about a few things to go bring on up at least at the time when we record this video too as well well, this will be up in the next, like, you know, like, half hour or so, 45 minutes or so. We still have also not seen the PlayStation 5 at Disc Edition 2 as well, so still be on the lookout for that throughout the day. Or if it did randomly drop as the time I'm be recording this stuff, I'll make sure to leave a comment down below. But, man, this was, like, a really, really rough PlayStation 5 digital restock. It was not good. It was planned, and it was just abysmal. So if you guys were a part of that too, you guys had any issues, you had any stuff, I know my tribe members still put up community posts, tweets, everything out there for you guys. Feel free to let me know how it went for you guys down below. I want to probably showcase up and just kind of give some talks and I don't know, just everyone's frustrated. I think everyone is. So if you were a part of it and you guys didn't get a console and you guys are sad yourselves, don't feel bad. It usually does seem like Amazon's a little bit of a harder drop to go and get. Now, Obviously, in the future, if you guys have the chance, you see people tweet out about it or mention it. It's probably still worth a try, but man, this was like two minutes of just not fun. <laughs> it was just not a good time. So, as always, if you guys want to, have the Amazon links down below for the PlayStation 5 disc and digital and stuff like that. In case there's any re, uh, additional restocks, I guess, hopefully, maybe, I will see, or just warehouse consoles. PlayStation 5, as I mentioned, disc edition still has not restacked, so we'll kind of see how that plays on out. As well, we have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We have the Weeble and Coinbase down below. We have the everything else down below. We have the Twitter giveaway down below. If you guys want to do that stuff, and let's go dive in the video itself. So, I'm sure you guys know, we mentioned it quite a bit, but basically when it comes to this drop, we knew, confirmed today, like we made the tweets, we made the YouTube video and everything, that Amazon was confirmed dropping the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. So Amazon Prime customers will be given priority access to the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, and it did happen at 8 a.m. And when I say 8 a.m., it was more of like, probably like 8.30 if anything. I have no idea why these big companies, you know, when it comes to like Amazon, even GameStop, all the times, are always so late. So that's like the very, that's like, you already know when a drop starts off with that one and it's like a big planned quote unquote drop. And then it's literally, I think it was like a half hour late. And then people weren't even able to add things to their cart. People weren't even seeing checkouts. Like the whole website wasn't fully even updated. The stock probably just wasn't necessarily loaded on in to the website itself. And man, like first and foremost, that's just not fun. Like that's not a fun experience. That's not a fun time. And like you, it's just wasting people's time. Like for me and myself, I was sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting. And like at that point, it's like 30 minutes. Like people have to go to work. People have like, sh you know, stuff they got to do. I was, you know, I was said the dirty word. But like, like first and foremost, that's just unacceptable. Like you got to be on time. Like you're literally Amazon. You know how easy it is, especially if you have like a three day notice to have this all done by a bare minimum at nine o'clock. I mean, come on. I'm saying 9 o'clock for me because, you know, it's at 10 o'clock for my time in Chicago. And, like, it's, like, it's not that hard. Like, it really isn't that hard. Just make, like, you're literally one of the biggest companies in the world. Just make sure it works. It's not, like, you literally, your whole entire website is just selling stuff. You shouldn't have crashes. You shouldn't have issues. If you already have known for the past 30 Amazon drops there's going to be issues and getting dogs and all that stuff, you probably should just go and update, at least for that listing, you know, maybe for the day when the drop's going on. So that was the first and first and foremost issue. Part two is the stock itself was just pretty much gone. Dude, it was like quite literally, quite literally, like maybe like a two-minute drop if even that. Like now there was like a, like a few little things where people were hanging on, you know, for a little bit where they were able to add it to the car or like they were trying to go spam checkout. But in all reality, it kind of seemed like the digital stock was just essentially gone. There was basically no stock for it. And I'm not sure if that's just because bots if there was, we'll maybe go talk about that later on throughout the day. If we see more bots or bots bragging about it or whatever, hopefully they don't. But it just kind of seems like that's what happened. Like, usually, at least for even Walmart, their stock's up, at least for a little while. When it comes to, like, Target, they have a little bit of a chance. Which, by the way, you're still watching for the Target drop in case you guys are sad about this one. And, like, it stinks. It really does stink because we just want to have a normal console. We want to have a normal drop. We want to have a normal, like, you know, this where people can just go and click one button. And then click another button, and now it's like, now you know it's showing up in the next two to three days from Amazon. Like, ugh, dude, it would just be like my dream come true. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who've been trying to get your consoles for a while would agree. 
Because there's like every single time, there's only so many times I could go complain about it. And there's so many times I complain about Amazon. But I just feel like, like this was like, I was expecting so much better. This is like the first time, like ever, we have seen Amazon do a preemptive tweet. This is like the first time we've ever seen them mention it. The first time. So I was hoping, because it's been like months since we've seen a PlayStation 5 digital restock from Amazon, that it would have been a good drop or they would have had extra stock. Or if anything, they would have at least done something in anti botting or anti scalping measures when it comes to this. When it comes to Walmart, they did fix it. Like I would say a lot of the times there still is a few botters and scalpers, obviously, but like I would say Walmart most of the time has fixed it. And to me, I feel like it's gotten to the point where it's almost somewhat unacceptable. Like you're literally one of the biggest companies in the world. You obviously have staff. You obviously are having, you have thousands upon thousands of employees. You could literally just go and pay someone to help out with anti-botting to just make the customer experience better. And at the end of the day, it'd probably make your overall Prime members a little bit happier. Because you know how many people I've seen have canceled Amazon Prime, especially when it comes to just how bad these drops have been. And now this is probably a small subject, sub subject, small subject, whatever, subnect, whatever, whatever the word would be, of a group of people where it's just like, we're not like the biggest, I mean, we just want to get our gaming consoles, but gamers, there's a lot of gamers, there's millions of gamers out there, and I'm sure there's a really big overlap of Amazon Prime members and people trying to get their consoles, so it just kind of goes to show, Amazon's late to its own drop, that's offensive, because this is literally specifically for Amazon Prime members, they literally don't have enough stock, and or the bots just went and ate all the stock, and it's even worse, because they literally could have an anti-botting measure, they're literally one of the biggest companies in the entire world, they're worth trillions of dollars, like, <laughs> they're like, it's like, it's crazy, like, you could literally sell billions of PlayStation 5s, and they would still not even come close to the market cap of what Amazon is right now, it's insane to see, it's insane, so that's another big thing, and of course, too, as well, it's just like that little baby touch, where I saw so many people, dude, I saw so many people just generally upset, like, I just want to go through, like, my homies, like, cams or whatever, type of this stuff, but, like, we're seeing comments over here, or, like, for some people in cams community, where it's like, they took it just right out of the cart, and they're like, yeah, they, like, people are literally memeing on it, where they're like, yeah, they just snatched it on top of this, too, as well, and people are like, I missed it by 30 seconds, too, on top of that, but, like, dude, like, even then, like, you're barely even him there in the first place, people are calling it botism, people are like, has anyone actually even gotten any consoles itself? And, like, it's just, honestly, just had all just, like, just bots. Just bots literally everywhere. Just bots, 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 bots. And as well, I'm even I'm even just afraid to even go and show these dogs in the first place, because as you guys know, we got yelled at by Amazon before, but like people are just seeing like the sorry, something went wrong on our ends, we're seeing the Amazon dogs literally everywhere, it's just not fun. People had stuff in their account, and there was issues too as well. We have people over here from my homie Supply Ninja, where it's like one of the world's worst drops ever. We have to stop bots from buying out these things too as well, dude. Like, it also seemed like all the all buying options didn't do anything because the drop was just that bad. It was awful. I even saw people up on my own Twitter itself, and even on YouTube. I think people literally came from like the, my, my most recent YouTube videos, and they literally like came in there to complain. Because I'm okay with it. I don't mind. Like if people complain about drops, I'm 100% okay with that. Like that's like kind of our big focus on the channel. And I just felt sad because people were literally being like, "Oh my God!" Like. I tried it for a second to the, people were even asking me if the drop even happened. Like, I think that alone goes to show on how awful this stuff was, because if people are quite literally stating, like, is there even a drop? Like, is there even anything going to be going on? Like, did it even happen? Like, that just goes to show uh, just how rough it is. And I'm going to be kind of scared to go and see the PlayStation 5 Disc Edition, because as you guys know, either throughout the rest of today, so if you guys want to have the links or whatever, I'll probably post them still down below, although... Hopefully, it'll be slightly better. Thankfully, the PlayStation 5 Disc Edition is still very sought after, although slightly less sought after compared to the PlayStation 5 Digital, and as well, usually does have bigger stock, too, on top of that. So, hopefully, that drop, I mean, if whatever happens throughout the day, we can kind of go and see. Like I said, maybe if it dropped, like, 20 minutes ago or so, I'll maybe leave, like, YouTube comment or whatever on it, because we still have a little bit of time since, like, you know, from the making the video and uploading the video and all that type of stuff. But, like, geez, it is just, I hope that drop's not going to be botted, although it probably will be. And at least on the bright side, we should at least have something confirmed for tomorrow if we do want to watch the drop itself. We'll probably be watching Amazon and seeing if there's going to be any movement or stock or whatever, because uh, it is confirmed on the website. It's confirmed by at least by the 31st, which is either today or tomorrow so we'll definitely be watching for amazon and amazon drops throughout this in general but it's kind of weird because we also saw pretty much every other region also get stock and we saw like the canadian councils getting stock and other like regions too as well so i'm kind of surprised it didn't drop throughout the day but 
if you guys were a part of this stuff, let me know how you felt. Like this one, I'm kind of hyped up more for Target, I would say. At least we do have stuff going on with that. We are watching stock for that, which is nice to see. But man, all these bots, if it was bots, it probably was sad to see. If everything else, sad to see. All the consoles, sad to see. And it just makes me sad. Like I don't I don't like seeing the stuff. I don't like complaining about the stuff. I don't like seeing a lot of you folks out there, my YouTube comments or my friends' tweets or my own tweets or whatever, having issues because it just makes me sad. So Amazon, please let's hope that this disc drop will be good. Let's hope a lot of you guys will get your consoles. Because I just don't want to keep complaining about these types of stuff over and over and over again because it just makes me sad. So if you guys agree, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon link Links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch room as well down below. We have the Weeble and Coinbase down below. We have everything else all down below if you guys want to check that out. We'll have a lot more videos all throughout today, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching.